going to Rawa Island in somewhere in Johor, Malaysia, so you don't have to go. Private island, you have to take a ferry from Mersing Jetty. It's the same jetty to depart to the famous Tioman Island, but today we're going to the Rawa Island, which is just beside the Tioman Island port. So here's the difference between the port of Rawa Island and Tioman Island. Rawa is more like a private island, not much of a crowd compared to Tioman Island, which is like a small town on an island with many more city facilities. FYI, Rawa Island only takes 30 minutes of ferry ride, while Tioman takes 2 hours. Such a big difference. So at the Rawa Island kiosk, you have to take a COVID test kit before departing. Look at me staying positive while tested negative for COVID and we're ready to go. Even the ferry is so spacious, you can only cater to like 20 people at the same time. Ooh, the material girl. The entire half an hour ride was so stable. I usually get seasick from ferry rides, but this is not. Maybe because it's quite short. And we got a welcome drink, and this is a little room tour of my hotel room. Okay, this is my chalet. And the luggage is already here. I don't need to bring. Cool. Okay, let's go in. Okay, so I got the deluxe forest view, uh, but I still can see the sea view from afar. And one thing about this Rawa Island is that it's a full inclusive package from this Rawa Island resort. So once you pay this amount, uh, I paid 1300 before Raya holiday, so it's quite cheap. So it, it includes three days of meals, three meals a day, and a hotel room, and a ferry ride transfer. So we have two flights. <laughs> this is one of the biggest flights. And then there's this, we have to go up. It's scary. And then because you you it's like oh <laughs> going to the ocean. I'm so scared. Oh no. Okay, bye-bye. See you on the other side. Let's go! Oh <laughs> I don't know if it's fine, but oh my god, it's so scary. Oh my god, I'm so scared. No, I'm alone here. Oh, I'm so scared. Because, oh, oh, you see, there's like borderless sea. Okay, other than the two water slides, you can also bring your own snorkeling thing. Um, they have it for rentals, but I just brought it on my own because it's cheaper. And just look at the crystal water, it's so clear that you can see my legs. So I was excited to bring my snorkel because the water is so clear. It is the private island, so the fish are going to be more expensive, I guess. But turns out the corals are pretty dead. I don't know why. So there was not many fish compared to the snorkeling I did in... Tioman Island. I guess you have to take an island hopping to a specific snorkeling island in order to see a lot of fish. But in Rawa Island, there's no island hopping option, so you just snorkel by the beach. But after 30 minutes of snorkeling, there was not many fish of sea, probably like five fish. So we got bored and we tried the other water activities that is not included in the package that we have to pay for 60 ringgit per hour for the stem paddle boarding. Oh, one thing cool about this island resort is that everything that's not included in the package that you have to pay extra. You only have to pay when you check out so it works like a festival cash 
wrist brand or something where you don't have to pay instantly you don't have to reuse your cash so at the end of the day it just deducts from your debit card so stand boarding turns into a sit boarding because i'm getting tired i can't believe i'm like sun tanning at 12 30 in malaysia that's so weird but yeah i'm just gonna show you the view it's crazy i know i know So we're about to go with jungle trekking now. So we gotta put a lot of mosquito repellent. So this is the whole island. This is the water activity area, and these are all the chalet, all the bungalows that we live. Okay, I'm somewhere here. I think I don't know. Yeah, so you want to go to the dry activities, there are jungle trekking, cactus garden, owl habitat, carpenter workshop, I'm not sure if they have it now, but yeah, let's go. Oh my god, it's so crazy. Look at how clear the water is, but I'm so close. Wow. So this is part of the jungle trekking, and you get to see this, oops, tripped over, yeah. You get to see such a beautiful view. I don't need no fan. I got natural wind to do a dramatic effect. Oh look, look at my hair. Oh, look at so pretty. Anyways, yeah. Enough of me. I'll show you the scenario. So right now, we saw a missile attack from Kim Jong Un, I guess. So uh, yeah, Let's keep walking. Who would walk a jungle tracking at three o'clock in? The afternoon in Malaysia. Me. Come on, let's go. It's so hot. It's like me. <laughs> so we are almost at the end, I think. Oh, I see like two random guys sitting there. Okay. I think they're not Malaysian because it's too hot to just sit here. Is that a you're crazy or you're not Malaysian sitting outside? At 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. They all they all look so black like they're in the shadows. Look, they're like black chickens. Into our 20 minutes of walking and talking to Cox. And we have reached another point of the cactus century. I think so. They have different kinds of cactus Grey Fat needles, small needles Very Mexico Desert vibes Look at myself <laughs> Just that the whole uh, entire jungle trekking is like 45 minutes And it's only been 20 minutes so Let's go! Oh my god, I got the mosquitoes, Rawa Island mosquito looking fat and rich because they're oh, sucking rich people's so blood. Ah, let's go! Oh, that's an owl. Oh, Malaysian born. Wow! Wow! <laughs> South China Sea. It looks like Bali. How beautiful this is. And then we have to go back. <laughs> Bitch! Wish us luck. If I haven't updated in 20 minutes, report to the police or something. Because your girl is hiking with the toilet sandals. Bitch. Bye. So these are one of the activities that you can try if you don't want to snorkeling at uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So peaceful. So if you walk like five minutes down, there's a rock bar. I don't know why they separate the rock bar somewhere else far from the center point. And this is what it looks like at 4 p.m. Like literally no one here. Look at how pretty this place is. You see? Like you have the sunbed, you don't even need to pay anything. 
like you don't have to rent the umbrella you can just sit there without ordering any drinks that's so crazy like no one is here it's like that i mean i like it <laughs> i like it here look you see the bed is so comfortable why is no one sleeping here i don't understand if it's if this was at europe girl you'll be seeing a whole crowd here see look at it look at here i don't understand why there are no people here it's so peaceful like there's literally no one here and i guess uh, I, like, I can literally stun tan here naked and nobody knows this it's crazy Right now, we're at a very dangerous bridge, but it looks very cool as a photo spot. But I don't know if I want to go. Look, Asha. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's safe. Do you think it's safe? Should I? No, not today. I'm not dying today, but yeah. Hi guys. So it's. You know like this island is so quiet and to the point that it just every activity just stop at 8 o'clock 8 p.m. So after dinner everyone just went back to the chalet no one's drinking no one's partying it's so quiet which I like because I you know like I'm at that age that I want to you know chill this would be my retirement home so yeah <laughs> so I don't know what to do now I just I did my videos here. Yeah, I probably sleep early. I'll catch a sunrise tomorrow morning. She lied. Day two. Bitch did not wake up for any sunrise throughout the three day trip. Anyways, the coolest part on this private island that no other islands can do it is that they migrate the peacocks to this island. Why I mean, I don't think the peacock could fly from dun, dun, mainland dun, dun, to the island. You know what I mean? And wait, they actually that, have. <laughs> how do you do a Pokemon? Okay, I don't know how to sing the Pokemon song, but yeah. Get into it, look. Now let's talk about the food. The three meals a day that your package includes is, which is not bad actually, because the food there is quite up to standards. Like they actually have seafood, salmon, not the very normal kind of buffet. There's so many varieties of the food and especially the egg station from the morning buffet. I love it so much. So throughout that three days, you'll be having seven meals from the restaurants that, that the only restaurant buffet. the buffet area lunch dinner breakfast is all here and this is a very spacious place very cute very autonomous that's about oh hello say something say atas yes atas guys the breakfast are looking so great pancakes french toast oh i came too late for this Big beans, nah. Beef sausage. It's our last dinner before we leave tomorrow. Wow. Guys, this is our last meal in this resort, so we had to take a lot of things. Oh my god, it looks so nice. At this point, there's nothing left to do, so we're just chilling by the beach waiting for the ferry time. Uh, we just had our breakfast, but if you're checking out, at two o'clock they don't really provide lunch so you have to wait until two o'clock but there will be no lunch and then you have to i mean you still can pay we are planning to go to the other resort to have lunch uh which is like 55 ringgit per person for three main costs it's fixed like there's nothing else you can eat so yeah hi just chilling this is my view right now Or if you want something different, you can go to the next resort to try the buffet. But in my opinion, yeah, I mean, you can look at the food. It's not that appetizing as the resort that I stay in. But I think if you take the morning ferry, the breakfast buffet is enough. Because I took the afternoon ferry at 2 p.m. So I had to eat something. I don't really like the food here for some reason. I'm so sorry because the chef of the 
this restaurant he recognized me from tiktok and he came up to me <laughs> So you're like, oh, I want to take a picture with you. Yes. And that is so weird because I've never thought someone on a private island would recognize me given that, that there's only like 50 people, 50 to 100 people on this island. Okay, I think that's the end of my travel vlog. I hope this travel vlog helps and provides value to whoever is watching this and you know, wants to book a trip. I booked it on Klook app. You can try to look for Rabat Island package or I put a link in the description box. Thank you guys for watching to the end and... Remember to subscribe so I can travel more. Bye!